In this short video, we will demonstrate the global manhole restoration system to replace a traditional manhole for a self-leveling manhole. Self-leveling manholes are attached to the road itself, not to the cone, which allows the manhole to shift with the road when the road heaves. We will use a scale of the traditional manhole to demonstrate. As you can see, here we have the cone of the manhole. In a typical setting, the traditional manhole frame is attached to the cone, and the manhole cover sits on top of the manhole frame. Now we will explain how the global manhole restoration system replaces a traditional manhole with a self-leveling one. First, we remove the manhole cover and perform a cut with a horizontal blade at a depth between 5.9 and 9.8 inches below the road surface. Second, we perform a vertical cut outside the manhole frame. Third, we remove the cut material. The special tool we use will pull together the manhole frame and the surrounding asphalt together, leaving the opening to the cone exposed. Fourth, we install a fiber reinforced concrete ring on top of the cone. Fifth, we pour a very fast drying cement around the ring. This cement will dry in less than 30 seconds. Sixth, we insert a form in the ring to avoid any material for going into the cone and pour aquafault up to the road surface. Aquafault is a special type of asphalt that cures with water. Seventh, we compact the aquafault and remove the form. The self-leveling manhole frame will sit on the aquafault, and it looks essentially like a traditional manhole frame, but upside down. Lastly, we install the manhole cover, which is outfitted with a locking device. As you can see, when the road rises, the manhole frame and the aqua fault around it will rise with it because they are not attached to the cone. 